Namaste everyone. In today's video, I wanted to speak about how to take care of your mental well-being. My name is Priya. I'm very passionate about sharing positivity and empowering others to live their life to their fullest. We're all creators. We have the capability to create our life the way we want. So let's make it beautiful together. Let's dive in. So today's topic is about mental well-being. I don't know about the rest of the world, but in Canada, this week is um, Mental Wellness uh, Week. So we focus on how we can uh, take care of our mental health and um, of others, our loved ones and others around us. Um, so there's definitely many ways of taking care of your mental state, um, including taking care of your emotional health and physical health, because they are all intertwined. Um, so the number one thing I would want to tell you is, and, and I am talking this from um, from experience as well. And when I'm saying from experience, I don't mean I'm an expert at it. Um, it's something that I work on constantly because there are times when I eat really bad and then there are times when I eat really good. And therefore I can see the difference when I eat bad versus when I eat good. So eating really healthy food is a must to really take care of your mental health also physical health and emotional health. Food really affects you. Anything that goes in your body affects you directly. Um, so, you know, everything turns into um, energies and that, you know, the blood goes into your brain. Um, the, it goes into every parts of your body. Basically, we're like a machine and we need to be maintained properly and only put put all the things that are, you know, this machine can handle. So if you're putting anything that's like, you know, sugar or anything that's really bad for you um it's gonna affect you and the minute your physical body affects you your mental body will affect, get affected as well your emotional body will get affected as well it's all connected so i know and from personal experience i can tell you this even when i i have done emotional eating binge eating all these eatings um and when all that happens at that time, as much as my loved ones would tell me, oh, you have to focus on eating healthy, um, you shouldn't eat like this, what I would tell myself and them, how I would respond to them is saying, but it makes me feel good. When I eat this chocolate, it makes me feel good. And it's supposed to, because there's that chemical that kind of lights up, um, you know, and makes you happy for like a second and then it's gone. Um, and then you feel bad, it, like you, it really brings you down. But I don't talk about that. I only talk about how it makes me feel good. And then I eat more of the chocolate because every time it goes down, I want to bring it back up. Um, so I have been through that um, in, in my personal life. But what I'm trying to say is at the same time, I've been through the times when I ate really healthy, um, really didn't focus on going into that sugar when I needed it. And for me, it's sugar and for you it could be anything else. Um, so whatever it is, uh, you have to know that at the end of the day, it will affect your physical body and the way you feel. You're not going to feel 100% good throughout the day just because you had a good one second great moment of eating a chocolate or whatever you love eating. So that's what I want to say is that make sure you eat really good wholesome food that nutrition is something that you need you need that in your body um, and that will help you emotionally and mentally as well your, your brain needs it your body needs it your gut needs it every part of you needs it so make sure you eat healthy so that's one way the other thing is what you consume not just through your mouth but what you consume in your mind so if if all these things uh, certain things you're surrounded by, it could be environment, it could be what you're watching, what you're reading. If these things are bothering you, then there's some sort of trigger. Then it's best to uh, declutter uh, this environment. So organize yourself where you tell yourself if, if you must read the news where it's you have to know what's going on in this world, even if it's negative, then focus on it for five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever you want. And then you have to get get away from that. You can't just focus on it unless it's something that you want to improve on and you are taking action towards improving, um, you know, and helping and serving the world. That's a different story. But if you're just thinking about the negativity and that's affecting your whole day, then it's really important to focus on removing yourself from that story, removing your, um, yourself from those emotions. Um, and you really need to take care of yourself. And this, I'm talking about your loved ones too. There are so many people that you care about, but if they're constantly consuming your energy, you need to protect your energy. So it's important that even if you tell yourself, I'm going to spend one day 
or um, half an hour a day or it could be one hour a week to this person to you know be be helpful and give my ears but the rest of the time I need to focus on protecting myself and focusing on building myself so make sure you uh, set some boundaries um, organize yourself where you know um, how your energies are being consumed you need to be in control of that you can't just let everybody consume your energy and I'm not talking about people um, it could be um, things that you're watching things that you're hearing um, so you be in control of that the next thing I want to talk about for your mental health is really um, get out there um, into the nature and connect yourself with nature it's very important because you can learn a lot from nature you can um, exchange energies with nature and it will really feel rejuvenated you like you need to go for a walk every day even if it's just 10 15 minutes it will be really helpful for you the next thing is really connecting with the people that you care about uh, connecting with your loved ones and checking in with your friends and spending time with them I know it's a, a busy um, you know we're all busy in this world and sometimes it's hard to get a hold of people or sometimes you try to coordinate something and it keeps getting postponed Owned. but at the end of the day it doesn't matter if it gets postponed 10 times just make that effort to book the 11th time meet up um, because it's important to even the face to face is important but even if not face to face use the technology these days to you know meet people through the phone um, not just a text message but to actually see them if possible um, these are just some stuff but there are so many other things that I can share with like getting help when needed um, it's about acceptance what we are going through um, you need to accept that it's happening and you need to sometimes you know people get into that state where they feel like no it's it's okay even if they know that it's not okay they tell themselves it's okay they don't need the help but it's okay to get the help um, we, we all go through this every every single person does and now there's broader understanding of things and uh, broader um, um, Availability of resources than what we had a long time ago So use it um, use the services if you don't want to talk to the people, you know already if you feel embarrassed talk to the Experts out there that that can still help you So whatever you need help make sure you're open to, uh, have an open mind to getting help um, and, and it's not just for you, but also for your loved one. If somebody needs help, make sure you offer um, them all these resources that are available and tell them that it's available for them if they need it. Um, so these are just some of the things that you can do. There's obviously plenty of other things that you can do to, for your well-being, like you know, doing meditations every day, doing positive affirmations every day, exercising every day, drinking lots of water. Water, we are all made up of water, so it really purifies us when we drink water. But also setting some great intentions in whatever actions we do makes a great um, impact in how we do things. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I know it's a lot of information. Um, I can talk about this for hours, um, but it's a great, um, it's an important topic. Uh, make sure you take care of your well-being in all aspects of your life. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please click the like button, share this video with others. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification button as I'm very determined to create weekly videos for, for you guys to empower you to live the best version of you. Until then, namaste.